A top 15 matchup is nestled into the northwest corner of Indiana between Notre Dame and TCU. Two programs looking to try and find those big statement wins in the non-con to boost their RPI. Yes, you already start have to start talking about the RPI here in August. Yeah, because those three players are really such a key part of this team. It'll be interesting to see how the players today will step up and rise to the challenge. TCU will get us going. First touch back to Baker, who controls it. As Diorio tries to bring it forward, and the Irish pick it back up. Matriano passes it too far out in front of Fisher. Now Castain trying to bring back, stays with it, and Fisher goes in sliding to poke it out of bounds. Castain is dangerous in the box when she gets loose. Goes back to Brocious. Poke down to change signs of the field. Patton. The long ball in. Diorio trying to go for the head. Lofson is there to make the save. That was one of the best chances we've seen so far. Now Roy centers back. Long ball trying to get for Engel, who's got speed. And Engel with a shot, it hooks in. Wow! The freshman continues her hot start to her season. You can't doubt the explosiveness of Izzy Engel. She's going to be a huge difference maker for the Notre Dame team. She came in, she got a goal. What more can you ask for? You talked about, Bryn, how they needed to have some offensive rhythm. And there, Engel working through the attack and hooks it right in. What a goal by the freshman. And an incredible goal in the transition. They adjust. Trying to get back equal. Now Notre Dame once again has room. Trying to get it back to Engel. Go back into the tank. Elcher there, switching side of the field. Osbeck steps forward, now breaks it through. A duo of Horn Frogs collapsing on her, and it'll be a goal kick. And there. <laughs> Esovich will not take it. Instead, it will be Roy who comes in. Long ball. Fisher gets a head on it, and it goes. And now. Fisher had a great opportunity there. Coming in with a strong header from the backside. Again, Notre Dame needs to finish these set pieces. Now Joseph, a freshman, passes off to Engel. Engel trying to stop on a dime, continuing to apply pressure. Rory with the cross, looking off the leg. And will be a goal kick. That was a great shot on goal by Ospect and a better cross by Roy, who has made some really great final crosses into the box. As you can see, Roy takes a cross straight to Ospect, who just narrowly misses. But Ospec has been a really great forward for this Notre Dame team thus far. The grad student from Danville, California. Signal no more between the two of them. Come on with a long ball. And a patch go. Able to get the gloves on it. And holds on to it crashing to the turf. That was a great save by Palasco. She really asserted her dominance and was not afraid to go out and grab that ball, which is exactly what TCU wants to see as the goalie battle continues. Joseph looking to try and get forward to Engel. Now a corner kick for Notre Dame. Roy with the striking shot. Joseph finds the back of the net. And a great goal.
by Joseph off the cross from Roy. That was a perfect corner kick, and Joseph was not afraid to go out there and take advantage of it. Joseph, the Hamden, Connecticut native, finds herself with space on the corner, and it deflects in. And Joseph, the freshman, has had a great game so far. Comes away deflecting off of Abigail Cox, the freshman. Down by the Sunday, clock will stop, and it was Mills just trying to clock it out. The clock will pick right back up. And grab a breather with this heat. Yeah, they will grab a breather. For Notre Dame, they lead to nothing. What have you seen, Bryn, so far? Right? Because they've obviously corrected things, and the freshmen have come out explosive as we start out the second half. And he put it very blunt to us. It is 17 and 18-year-olds playing up against 22 and 23-year-olds sometimes. Yeah. And it is an adjustment that you think you're ready for, but then sometimes you're not. And they are showing that they are continuing to develop from the first game against a ranked opponent against Michigan State. And all the challenge there as TCU picking it back up. Now Roy centers to the midfield. Paulus for a kick. Engel behind the back kick, turns, and off the post! Wow! This freshman is sensational! I have no words. A glimmer of space turned into the third goal for Notre Dame. She is simply incredible. As I said, put Angle in front of the net and she will get a shot off. In this shot, she has the technical skills and just a hunger to score that really is separating her from the other players on the pitch right now and helping to make her a real one to watch for the season. I mean, she's a freshman, three goals last game to this. To find an opening. Now Kelly. Nice to give it a pass too far out of the reach that Lancaster is able to get to. Lancaster is able to turn the corner. Streaking. Castain is there, but Olofsson steps away from the line to pick it up. Norman has in his underclassmen and his ability to see where they go. Here's a graduate student here though. <laughs> and Ospek trying to make the turn. Bouncing ball out in front of the goal with no one to send it home. Matriano gets it back forward. Cobb tries to make the turn. And Plasco is able to just get a glove on it. And that was a great shot by Cobb. Yeah, so Cod turns and gets that shot on goal, which just narrowly misses with a great save by Plasco. But that's a really great opportunity. Now Hennessy. Lancaster. The pass to Castain. Lancaster. With a shot that ricochets off the crossbar. That was a great shot by Lancaster and exactly what TCU needs going into that. Narrowly missing, hitting off the crossbar. Oh my gosh, so Lancaster takes the shot and it goes up, hits the crossbar and just narrowly bounces up. And while Olofsson was there, more shots and chances like that that are dangerous shots on goal. It's back to four, now Joseph. Trying to get it to Engel. Engel retains it. Engel with a laser that goes above the crossbar. I'm feeling it. I feel like she's getting another hat trick today. She certainly wants one. That was an amazing shot by Engel that went just over the crossbar, narrowly missing the back of the net. But that power from a distance is also such a strong shot that we haven't really seen from her today. It really shows the duality of her her as a player being able to get some strong shots within the 18 and fi finishing off those cross. Oh, free kick 
for TCU. Long ball all the way to the far side. Kelly's there, gets her foot on it. Still not out of danger, though. Olofsson's out in front, dives away from it, and it rolls out of bounds. Great chance by the TCU Horn of opportunities. As you can see here, a great free kick to the back post where she gets her foot on it and just can't get it into the net. Even with the rebound, they're doing a good job at getting shots on goal and continue. Two of Notre Dame's three goals. But her performance so far has been simply amazing for this Notre Dame Irish team. And now Engel will go down and has the opportunity for the penalty kick, and it won't be Engel who takes it. But this again just shows how great of a player Engel is, drawing that foul because of her aggression to the ball and being the first one to it. So the defender has no other options to stop her from scoring. Atriano will take the penalty kick to go up against Plachko. Atriano waiting for the whistle, finally has it. And scores. A perfectly placed shot by Matriano in the lower left corner. There was nothing Plasco could do to stop that. That was a great PK driven because of Angle's fall. And with that though, it's no longer only freshman scoring for the Notre Dame offense with junior, junior Laney Matriano getting the fourth goal for this TCU game. So looking back at this, again, up just a perfect PK. There was nothing the goalie could do, and she really was the one who they knew they could count on with this junior experience, and she delivered to bring this game up to a 4-0 score. She should be on every freshman watch list so far through her play in the non-con, and hey, break out a couple of dance moves <laughs> if you got two goals. I don't blame her at all. I mean, five goals in the last two games as a freshman is truly phenomenal, and we can't wait to see how she goes the rest of the season. And for Notre Dame, they pick up the victory. They win 4 nothing, and it was freshmen that we talked about at the start that really delivered. Yeah, for sure. As we said before, both of these are underclassmen focused teams, and the Notre Dame freshmen showed out with Angle getting two goals and drawing the PK for a third, and Joseph getting her first goal of the season really just helps to show the dominance of this freshman team and help excite us for the potential moving forward.